Hey guys, uh, my name is Andy. I am your tech guide at Tech Store, and uh, welcome to my channel. And in this video, I am going to be showing you the complete disassembly process of the base of the Dell Inspiron 15 5547. This is the 5000 series launched uh, somewhere around 2015 here in India. Uh, if the top panel looks something like this, this is the silver uh, variant. There might be black variants also. Now this laptop has come in because it has this particular issue as you can see. Most of these uh, 15 uh, 5547 laptops are coming with this issue here. So we're going to be completely taking care of that. Once opened, uh, if it looks like this, the inner touchpad area and uh, the base, which is very important. This is the way the base looks like. Then you can apply this particular procedure. After looking at this video, you can basically replace the motherboard if it is gone. Uh, DVD writer, hard drive, RAM, the touchpad, the base, the speakers, everything literally you can replace with this particular thing. So you'll be needing uh, the screwdriver set here and a prior like this. So if you don't have a prior or something like this, cutting clay because you need to remove the hinges. A good brush would be ideal for cleaning up the dust inside. And we would suggest you to have something like this as a partition box to keep the different screws inside. Start things up. You need to flip the laptop and there are these two screws which you need to remove. Then take a prior and remove it. So this is where the hard drive is. This is the RAM base and this is the battery. This is the Wi-Fi chip, the processor fan. So Dell has made it uh, literally pretty need actually to upgrade the Dell 5547. So let's start with the battery first thing first. So there is one, two, three, four screws actually. Just pull it and the battery will be off. So you can just buy another battery if you just want to replace the battery. Just take a similar battery and uh, put it back and you're good to go. This is where the hard drive is. You need to remove these four screws. And the hard drive will come off. There's this uh, SATA connector which you need to remove and the hard disk is uh, pretty much easily available. So you need to buy a HDD or SSD, depends on your usage actually. This is a 2.5 inches SATA HDD that uh, this laptop has. You can upgrade up to 1 terabyte or put in a SSD for this particular thing. And just need to remove these 1, 2, 3, 4 screws to remove the casing of the hard drive and you're good to go. Coming to the RAM. Uh, you just need to use your two thumb fingers and uh, remove the memory out of the DIMM slot. You need to buy a DDR3L low voltage memory uh, for this particular laptop, 1600 MHz DDR3 low voltage and uh, you can upgrade this laptop up to 16 GB. So 8 plus 8, you can upgrade up to 16 GB. Let's remove the RAM, both of them. Coming to the Wi-Fi chip, uh, just this one screw and uh, just need to remove the connector over here. It's got broken actually when uh, the customer was using it, so the Wi-Fi chip will be available. This is the AC150 Wi-Fi chip that uh, Dell has put in this particular laptop. Let's keep it on one side. We need to remove some strip connectors before we go to the screws here. There's one strip connector over here, just remove it and keep it inside. There's no problem removing it. Then the VGA connector is to be removed. Just need to just observe this entire thing very carefully because when you're going to be reassembling, it will be very vital. Right. And just pull it. The VGA cable. Here, uh, the strip connectors are going to be removed. Now, let's start removing all the visible screws because the base of this particular laptop will come off. So, we we'll have to remove all the screws. Then, we need to remove the fan here. The fan is off. So, anybody wanting to replace a CPU processor fan, you can uh, do it. And now, we need to flip the laptop to remove the keyboard. Notches one, two, three, four, five, uh, which we need to remove, and the keyboard will give away. Just out now, you have to be very careful because uh, this particular uh, 
5547 Dell has a backlit keyboard. So this is the backlit uh, notch. Off, just take another keyboard if you want for uh, removing the keyboard you don't require to actually remove any screws on the base uh, just the keyboard uh, protruding the five notches and the keyboard will be off I need to remove all these strip connectors here too all right now there are these screws uh, on the touchpad which we need to remove There's going to be this glue here uh, which you need to remove the power strip connector and then the motherboard very very gently remove it and the motherboard is off so if you want to replace the motherboard of this laptop just take another motherboard and uh, replace it and everything is off so we have the touchpad in hand now and we can take another touchpad of the similar kind and replace it so before that uh, we need to remove the screws that are here attached uh, we need to hold on to this particular thing this is the problem with most of the laptop hinges actually. Uh, this thing gets broken and it's a very pathetic issue actually. Alright, so we're not doing anything on this now. All the screws are through. We need to take another uh, touchpad and we need to fit it. We have a brand new touchpad available on our website texto.co.in and uh, you need to entire reassemble the laptop. So from here on I'll be doing a fast forward.